Kenya Airlines and South African Airways have revealed their intention to establish a Pan-African Airline Group in 2024 as part of their strategic collaboration. This initiative aims to enhance trade and tourism by promoting better connectivity across the continent and fostering economic development. The proposed airline group is set to become Africa's largest carrier, boasting a consolidated fleet of over 100 planes, and will operate under a unified air operator certificate. Welcome, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa channel. The implementation of a single African air transport market by the African Civil Aviation Commission could potentially usher in a golden age of aviation development in Africa. A recent interview with the African Civil Aviation Commission Secretary General, Adfunke Adiyim, conducted by Aviadev, shed light on the Commission's progress in implementing the single African air transport market and shared updates on recent events. Additionally, the Commission is taking charge of the liberalization of the African continental free trade area. The partnership between two of the leading airlines in the region has resulted in a collective network of over 50 destinations across Africa and beyond. Following several years of discussions regarding a potential merger, the Pan-African Airline Group has been formally announced after many months of negotiations. The collaboration between Kenya Airlines and South African Airways is perceived as a strategic response to the current challenges confronting African aviation, such as escalating fuel costs, competition from foreign carriers, and a divided market. By leveraging the benefits of their respective hubs in Nairobi and Johannesburg, the partnership is expected to maximize the strengths of both airlines. In order to boost productivity and reduce costs, the two airlines have decided to team up on various activities such as procurement, maintenance, and training. The establishment of the Pan-African Airline Alliance is expected to create fresh opportunities for both tourists and businesses across the continent. With the enhanced connectivity, travel between different regions will become smoother, making cross-border trade and investment more convenient. Moreover, this move will contribute to the growth of the tourism industry, which is a vital component of the economic development of numerous African countries. Ultimately, it is anticipated that this initiative will have a positive impact on the aviation sector in Africa. For a long time, the aviation sector in Africa has been plagued by costly operational expenses, insufficient infrastructure, and regulatory limitations. However, the formation of a large pan-African airline conglomerate could help tackle these challenges by promoting economies of scale and fostering increased market competition. The African Civil Aviation Commission, a specialized organization with its headquarters in Dakar, Senegal, has been set up by the African Union to facilitate and regulate civil aviation across the continent. It also acts as the executing agency for two significant initiatives, namely the Single African Air Transport Market and the African Continental Free Trade Area, which are aimed at promoting the growth of aviation, trade, and overall economic development. The primary objective of the African Continental Free Trade Area is to eliminate trade obstacles across Africa, and if executed effectively, it would boost commerce between Africa and the rest of the world. The Civil Aviation Commission holds the responsibility of ensuring its proper implementation, as well as establishing air links between more cities, thus enabling travelers to fly to multiple destinations. The partnership between Kenya Airlines and South African Airways marks a significant achievement for the aviation industry in Africa. This collaboration is a major step towards enhancing connectivity and promoting regional economic growth. The inauguration of the Pan-African Airline Group next year is eagerly anticipated by travelers, businesses, and industry stakeholders alike. Furthermore, it ensures the preservation of the environment, safety, and security to foster sustainable aviation in Africa. Due to its extensive portfolio of programs, the Commission with its limited secretariat has to engage and collaborate with partners and other states. In the interview, ADME stated, We are operating in various domains and engaging not just our member states, but also the entire universe ecosystem of aviation to really bring that about. We have clear targets that we're trying to achieve and reach. So in the first few months of assuming office, it was really important for us to say that first of all, 
the African Civil Aviation Commission is here for our member states, but also to engage with our partners because we cannot do it alone. Strategically collaborating with multiple partners, nations, and regions across the globe is a deliberate action aimed at expediting the establishment of relationships. Moreover, this initiative will aid the African Civil Aviation Commission in garnering the necessary acknowledgement from its member countries and the wider aviation community to achieve its objectives. So, what do you think of our video? Let us know what you think in the comments below and as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.